Hello everybody and welcome back to King Game Reviews and I am the King and here we are to review Attack on Titan for the Xbox One and the PS4. This game, are you guys ready? Let's get it on. Now I gotta say Attack on Titan is a critically acclaimed anime. Everybody freaking loves the show. Even I, myself, really liked watching Attack on Titan the anime when it first was coming out on Netflix. I really enjoyed the series from beginning to end. Not a big fan of its new voice actors for English casts. Because I originally watched in Japanese, I just can't see it in English. And one thing I will say that's kind of a thing I hate about the series is that it's way too overdramatic. I understand it's a serious situation, but they're trying to be overdramatic. But it never stopped from me enjoying the series for what it was, and what it was was really cool. If you've never seen it, check it out and make an opinion for yourself, but here comes the game. Now, Attack on Titan the game is attempting to tell the entire first season of the anime series, and for the time this is the only season that's come out so far, in one game. And it does a very good job of accomplishing that goal. It tells the entire story from beginning to end, and even a few little things you weren't sure of that actually happened. Maybe it happened in the manga, maybe it didn't, you don't know, because maybe you didn't really read the manga and it happened in the game. If you haven't watched the um, anime, or you haven't read the manga, this is not a bad way to get in touch with the series. No lie. And it's made from our buddies, Koei Tecmo, produced by W-Force, who have made the um, Dynasty Warrior games, they've made the Fist of the North Star games, Games where basically you just beat the hell out of hundreds of thousands of enemies in one go and you just feel overpowered because the enemies don't really fight back. Attack on Titan aims to change that formula 100%. Kinda. In the world of Attack on Titan, you are a human. You are very small. In the world of Titan, Attack on Titan, it's like my finger is a human and I am a Titan. They will grab and eat you in a matter of seconds if you're not careful. Attack on Titan's gameplay is actually really amazing and it's pretty innovative, I think, for a Koei Tecmo game. So let's get into that first. Sorry about that, I had a technical issue with the camera, the battery died before I could finish the review, I had to recharge it and come back to you guys. Anyway, we're back with Attack on Titan. The gameplay for Attack on Titan is Somewhat difficult to learn, but it's really easy once you get the hang of things. I mean, because the gameplay, much like all Koei Tecmo games, is very repetitive. Now, unlike pretty much every Koei Tecmo game, instead of just running into the battlefield, running head forth with a ton of weapons to use, you can repel your character into the sky like all the soldiers in the anime. You can shoot to the left, to the right, with the little triggers right here. You can shoot to the left or the right, you can pull yourself in, you can shoot upwards by launching them both at the same time by pressing a simple button. You lock on to specific enemy body parts and you fly into them chopping them into pieces. Now it's not going to be really easy of course because some of these uh, enemy body parts take a lot of hits but you don't really need to hit them most of the time. You can actually just go straight for the nape of the neck like in the anime and take them out with a few clean slashes, or if you upgrade your weapons enough, one hit. It also depends on how fast you're coming in at the enemies, it depends what angle you hit them at, if it's gonna uh, hit them at all, if it's gonna be a miss. There's a lot of things you have to consider when attacking them. There's a lot more strategy to it than, say, Koei Tecmo's Fist of the North Star, which is a game I've played a lot. But unfortunately, like all of their games, eventually this will get repetitive. I say it does take some time to master, especially if you want to S rank those levels. You have to do all the side missions, kill all the titans, you have to basically be a perfectionist. To do this, you have to master the ability to shoot up into the buildings, blast through the sky, and kill as many titans as fast as possible. So chain linking kills. Not the easiest thing to do. But let me tell you something, when you do it, it is absolutely satisfying. It is so much fun, man. Like, I have dipped over 20 hours into this game after I beat the main campaign, which, by the way, the main campaign takes about 7 hours. So, take that for what it's worth. I enjoyed this game so much that I almost played triple the amount of time it takes to beat the campaign. I beat New Game Plus, I did all the side missions, didn't do all the side missions in New Game Plus, so I still gotta do that, but that's hours more. 
Now the side missions you have to do, they're not really that special. Some of them are defending this guy by killing said number of titans that are surrounding them, or uh, heading out to this one person who is in need of help. You can uh, protect civilians on certain missions, and usually you're rewarded with supplies or a new character that you can choose to equip to yourself. And each character in your supporting team has a ranking from, I believe it's C or D uh, to A. And of course you're going to want to go through the best characters. And you might think it will be a little too easy to get this omnidirectional gear on because there's only a few set stages, but they actually change up the environments quite a bit. There are of course the regular towns of Attack on Titan in the big cities. You have your forest levels, you have your mountain regions which have really high up walls and linear lines of hallways. Well they're basically hallways where you can get uh, funneled in with a bunch of titans which is kind of difficult on the higher settings. There are huge open fields with very few buildings, if any at all. Um, and these are the hardest ones to traverse, which is why the game added horses to the gameplay. You can ride out on horses and lock on to titans while you're riding said horse and jump off and shoot towards that enemy and your horses will come right behind you after you're done killing them. And there's actually a good variety of horses you can unlock in the game by buying them. You unlock more horses as you play through the campaign and the side missions. Speaking of leveling up and your gear, the gear of Attack on Titan is much more diverse than it is in the anime, the manga, at least as far as I know in the manga. It is insane what you can do with the game's gear. You start off of course with basic training gear but eventually you can buy and upgrade to new gear with various classes but if you want to get creative with it they have certain types of gear that you can get that are unheard of in the show like katana blades and uh, very small uh, little blades that hit hard have better durability but are just really crap in length. Blades made from titan skin fragments are pretty cool they have all different looks and they all have different status effects and you can even combine weapons to fortify your stronger stuff so if you just buy like a bunch of crap weapons and you combine them uh, scrap them for their points kind of like in Parasite Eve how you can scrap uh, guns for their sp stats to equip to another gun to make it better you can do that thing in Attack on Titan but it costs you some money you can also do this uh, for your repelling gear, you can do this uh, for uh, your blade holders, how many blades you can hold, etc. There are a ton of costumes you can get in the game that you unlock through special sequences, and sometimes the, uh, but some of them you will have to buy uh, online, they have a little store. But I'll tell you this, I've been playing the game for 20 hours and I've been upgrading my gear and trying to get the best of the best stuff, and it's still throwing new items at me. I've been trying to get new crap, it won't stop giving me new crap, it's awesome. And there's so much variety in what you can do, you can really customize it to how you want to play the game. Do you want Do you want to focus on weapon durability, do you want to focus on being fast, getting in and out with your repel gear, do you want to focus on having a long blade so you don't have to get too close to the titans and avoid being grabbed, or are you that person that wants to get up close and personal so you can get the blood all over you. That is actually kind of a cool thing about Attack on Titan is when you slay an enemy titan, their blood shoots all over you, even on characters like Levi. <laughs> I bet that pisses him off. And speaking of characters, you can play as a lot of characters in the show, not all of them, not even close to all of them, but there are a few favorites, Levi of course, Armin, um, Eren, Mikasa, let me just see, no that's the ones they put on the back, but there are a lot more. And each one has a few special abilities and you can level every single character up. Leveling them up gives them new stats and abilities like the ability to chain attacks, the ability to have a spinning blade slash. Uh, sometimes they hit harder or sometimes weapon durability I believe lasts longer on certain ones. Um, don't quote me on that one. But my favorite ability has to be the one with Eren. Eren's ability to turn into a titan in a fight just kills the game man it is so fun i'm well not kills it it breaks the game you are so powerful at that point when you transform nobody's gonna kill you and it happens much like in the show he bites himself and makes himself bleed lightning hits and then boom he's giant titan aaron i will say the controls for that little more crap than the omni gear stuff because it was obviously something they didn't want to prioritize as much as what you're doing for 99% of the game. 
than that 1% where you're Titan Aaron. When you play as him in uh, free play, you can of course be that Titan form anytime you want. And he is so overpowered because he not only can kill Titans in a few hits, he can grab them, slam them onto the ground, he can kick them while they're down, kick their heads off of the tiny ones, which is pretty cool. And he has an overpowered punch that not only when you hit the enemy he kills them, but it throws out a shockwave, which makes it feel incredibly satisfying to smack them in the face. And you may think that that's a little too much for these mini titans and stuff, but there are a good amount of titans. There are so many unique variants of all the titans, of the small ones, the medium sized ones, the large ones, the extra large ones. And there are, later in the game when you play New Game Plus, they add a variety of female titans, the colossal sized titans, the big tank ones. Uh, they even add ape titans in the game later on. And these ape titans are kind of hard to kill if you don't pack yourself some fire grenades. Trust me on that. The gameplay is absolutely solid in every sense of the word. The only problem I have with it is that it does get repetitive at times, like I said. Sometimes you might get bored, so you might not want to shoot out this. You might want to just go through the campaign your first run, take a break, and come back. Otherwise, you might feel the burn. Or the burn out. Now, the controls for the game with the Omni Gear is a little complicated to get used to, like I said, but it's a lot of fun when you get to it. There is no lag with the controls that I can feel. The only time um, I really had issues is when I was trying to rush myself with the controls because I was uh, nervous of getting eaten by Titans. That's something you really have to take into consideration because there's always Titans around you. You want to stay in the air as much as you can, but sometimes you have to get down ground and there's like five Titans around each other and there's always a chance you can get grabbed. So you got to keep uh, a clear head. The Titan uh, Aaron form is a lot of fun to use, but the controls aren't as uh, solid, I'd like to say, like, or it has more to do with the combat itself, like the punching and kicking, they only have a few set of animations, some of them, uh, when close to a building or when close to a wall, uh, can kind of get a little weird, or when jumping, if you jump, try to jump over a building and you're not high enough, then the game might have you holding in that pose for a little bit longer than you'd like. Not a big issue. No joke. No issue. The level design for Attack on Titan is absolutely beautiful. It recreates the style of the anime without being a cell shaded mess like a lot of games try to do. And I believe if you ever want to adapt an anime, if you ever want to adapt its style, try doing what Koei does. They do a really good job recreating the game's style without having to try to make it a cell shaded mess like some games try to do and don't succeed. Not to say that some games can't do it right, I've seen Dragon Ball Z do it pretty damn good. And uh, I think Naruto a few points has done it. Even Naruto has found a way to recreate the the, um, the anime style in its video games without having to go full cell shade. Everything about the World of Attack on Titan looks great, and it's really nothing I can complain about. Well, maybe the style is a little repetitive, but that's just from the show. It's only flaw of the style is that a lot of buildings and stuff repeat itself but that's because in the show a lot of buildings and stuff repeat itself uh, it's, it's a give and take situation you know the music in the game is beautiful I absolutely like the music uh, sometimes it can be very intense sometimes it I really didn't notice it and that title screen music is a very is a choir-esque uh, song where it's like oh it's very epic when you start the game up and you're like oh yeah we're gonna start this and kill some titans. Yeah. And not much else to say about the music. It is enjoyable, it gets the job done. Some of it sticks out, some of it doesn't. Unfortunately, um, it's just a mixed bag. Now cons with the game I would say is that going through the game the first time, it was a little too easy. Once I got through with the controls, which is the only thing really holding me back, I was able to S rank so every single story mission. I even went back and replayed a few just to S rank them before I finished the campaign and I finished it under 7 hours. That is a big issue. And even going through most of the side missions, not all of them, but most of them, it was a pretty easy affair to S rank that stuff. That sucks. But this issue is resolved if you play um, true attack mode, which is hard mode where the Titans are more aggressive, they throw more variants of Titans at you, um, more uh, uh, abnormal Titans and more more abnormal Titans that rush you and jump in the air and come at you appear more often. They all throw in the female Titans and the Colossal Titans later on after you get a certain number of kills, like I said. 
and they are just difficult. That is one thing I didn't talk about actually, the variants of the normal Titans. There are of course the small, medium, large Titans, but each one actually has a set number type of attacks. Like the little ones are of course really easy to kill. It'd actually be kind of foolish for you to get caught by one of them even on true attack mode. The medium ones are a little bit more of an issue, but really the only ones you have to worry about are the large ones and the abnormal ones. The large ones only have their size going for them. and the abnormal ones are pretty crazy. They just run at you, they can leap, they're very unpredictable, much like in the show. Oh, but you want to get them. You want to be able to take your time with them because when you kill them, you can actually slice their limbs off um, before you kill them to get special items which you'll need uh, to craft new weapons. Sorry, I, I left that out. And they have kind of boss titans in the game where you have to break certain limbs before you can go at their necks. For some reason their neck is completely blocked off unless you like cut off their arms or you can like use flare guns to blind them and that'll temporarily open up their neck for an attack. Uh, the eight titans need grenades to burn off their hair on their neck uh, because the hair apparently guards the crap out of them and you need to chop their arms so that they don't block it with their hands because they'll do that eventually too. The Colossus Titan is more along the lines of using a flare gun to block it off unless you want to spend a very long time chopping the arms, which I don't recommend because your blades are going to break pretty easily and you only have a certain amount of those unless you like to run back and forth between supply drops. But even then in true attack mode, I only got killed, eaten, maybe three times in my playthrough of the campaign. It's not hard. And that's the biggest problem because the game is repetitive but it's also easy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind it being repetitive if it gave me some challenge, but after a while I just feel like I've seen it, I've done it. There's nothing really that's gonna tear me down. I had to rethink my strategy a little bit in true attack mode. I had to be more aggressive, I had to be faster. I realized that pretty uh, right off the bat, but I get to keep all my old gear. My new, It's basically a new game plus on a harder difficulty. So, really? What are you going to do? But those complaints aside, it was a very fun game. I even played a few hours of multiplayer, and the multiplayer is a lot of fun. Playing with your friends and being soldiers in the world of Attack on Titan is great. Um, doing side missions and even main story stuff is great. I do recommend that you play the game. Warts and all, it's a fun experience to be had by all, especially if you're a hardcore fan. There's just a lot to love about this game with the amount of characters you can play as, the regular story mode, the true attack mode, the side missions, the style. Music's a little mixed. It's got a few issues with it being repetitive and easy, but it's got so many variety of titans and weapons and all that crap. You're going to love it. I believe so. So, in the end, I'll give Attack on Titan a 7 out of 10. I truly believe it deserves that. A solid experience with a few issues. I'm sorry if this was a bit of a rambling review. I tried my best to keep it um, straight to the point. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.